Uh, hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be going over a very easy technique in order to fix bad palsy and pinching in your mesh. So, for example, let's say you have a shape like this. Let me show you real quick. Uh, so, you do something like this, okay? Suppose you got a detail uh, like this right here. There you go. And uh, then you come across a certain kind of detail and you want to add a certain kind of uh, shape right here. And uh, in order to do that, you might want to, uh, you, you'll, you'll be getting rid of this edge right here. And what it's going to do is going to create this end guard right here, which we got um, like six edges right here. And uh, in order to get rid of that, uh, you, a lot of people just uh, connect these uh, vertices right here, like this right here. And this is going to pretty much get rid of the end guard right here and create this beautiful uh, quad right here. But it's also going to uh, introduce another problem right here, which is this uh, really uh, switched up triangle right here, which is really going to miss out your topology uh, if you add further, uh, if you add additional detail and uh, do a subdivision surface, uh, add an, a su do subdivision surface kind of uh, modeling and uh, procedural kind of, have a procedural kind of workflow. It's going to uh, create a bit of a pinching right here. It's really going to be hard to deal with a mesh like this. So the easy trick, uh, the easy trick is in order to get rid of this kind of shape is you can just um, add a and you do right here and you you're just going to scale it down, do something like this. And this is what what it's going to do is it's going to just uh, create these uh, beautiful quads right here. And it's going to also not only going to get rid of the triangle, but it's also going to fix the uh, the pinching guns. This is a much more ideal workflow, and it's a lot, hell of a lot easier to work with if you are doing uh, subdivision modeling and uh, using uh, um, kind of procedural workflow. So I think that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys learned some new and enjoyed it. Uh, I guess yeah. See ya. Take care.